so friends in this video we are going to learn how to create internal for here so let's proceed select part solid and click ok we manage part solid display entities first go to tools relations and copy these relations and paste here before proceeding enter some basic values needed for example module module equals 7 pressure angle pressure angle equals 20 and width equals 30 and outer tire equals 165 now verify ok ok number of teeth number of teeth equals 18 verify ok now go to model and extrude select front plane draw two circles dimension them root dia smaller one root dia and the larger one outer dia these values are coming from relations that we use ok adjust the width type width ok this is our base we have to extrude the teeth or cut teeth into it so first we go to sketch select front plan sketch view draw three circles as such dimension then the shortest one to be get the the middle one to be the reference the and the bigger one to be the dia okay now go to datum curve curve from equation and select equation so go to copy paste this equation in only curve profile from here to here and verify don't worry i will provide these equations in description you may copy that from there okay and select coordinate system and you see we have got a curve this is our involute curve profile and after this After this, we have to draw our arc, draw an arc, go to sketch, front plane, sketch, sketch view, reference, select reference circle that is middle circle, middle circle and the star, close, go to center and ends are 
Center and the ends. This is center. First end, second end. Re dimension it like this. Click middle button and tools thickness. Now, okay, and select the bottom point. And type 0.5. Okay, select the atom plan. We are going to create a atom plan about which we have to mirror this in volume profile to get a complete tooth profile. So, select this term mirror, select the atom plan we created right now. And you see we have got a mirror now we are going to extrude our or cut our teeth so select a cure define sorry define front plan sketch sketch view Just click on project. We are going to project the curves we need now to make our sketch complete. So now select line, click on this point and log this tangent constant and select click anywhere now again select this point and log log tangent select the one and log Left and then lock tangent and it's okay. Click anywhere. Now go to delete segment here yeah. and delete unnecessary segments, line segments that we create. And here we go. Delete this one too. And to delete these ones as well. Now, feature requirement yes, all features are complete. Okay, go to click to the next surface. Okay, now we have got both our teeth and we have to modify it a little bit. So, select center, click both of these tip edges and then dimension it. Uh, enter. Semi copy. Okay, select round and enter. It won't fill it. Okay, now our group is ready. Select last three features and make it a group. Right click on the group, newly created group, and select that one. Left axis and select axis now. Select 360. Type T. You see, here is our gear. Just this left display entities. 
and now how to hide these terms let me tell you go to layers right click select new layer hidden features hidden features name of the layer and just select the features you want to hide Just select these and one more thing. This one, okay. So go to right click on the layer part. You see, features have been hidden, and that's all we have got out here. That's a perfect. And you may change its appearance from here, render appearance. Go to select stand or steel, polish the steel. Select your select part. Okay. So that's our final product, final model. I hope you will benefit from this video and learn. Some more concepts in Creo Parametric. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video and like the video. Thank you for watching.